Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to create a component library for left navigation purpose. So let's create a component library. So what is component library? Component library is nothing, just a reusable thing as we have a component inside the app. But component library gives you a centralized and managed repository of component for the usable. So inside this component library, you can see we have a screen and here we have a component. So this is screen, nothing, just gives you a flexibility so a component library maker can quickly test their component. And here you can see we have a allow customization option is available. So it means when you create any component inside the component library, then you have the option to allow this component to be customized when used by or any other user in their app. By default, this setting is turned on as you can see. So by default, this is turned on. So if you make this turned off, so it means you remove the ability to customize the component for any other user. So now let's create this component. So let me first decrease the width and let's take a gallery vertical outside the coordinate zero y zero and width parent of width same thing height parent dot height so for this gallery we have a defiled items is available so let's remove this for time okay we'll remove it later so let me create a input property for this component library So here we have a two types of property. So input we use when we want to receive any value from the apps and this output parameter when we use when we want any value from the component. So as we are going to create this left navigation and this is a component library. So we create a input type variable name menu item and we are going to pass a multiple values or multiple records so we take as a table and let's create so now you can see menu item variable is created now select this menu item so it will give you a by default sample for a table so now let's rename this menu item menu item and then open and then speed where we want to navigate then let's Add another column is current screen. Now let's copy and paste, create a sample record. Now let's say this is tab one. Tab two, 
tab 3 next set it would be a icon dot add icon dot add library icon dot add library the screen let's say app dot active screen and same thing we will copy we will pass this actual screen when we consume or inherit this component inside our app so and menu item or current screen would be the same i will explain you why i add this extra column So now our table is created. So click on this gallery and then write component. Our so to access the all input and output variable of this component, you need to first write your component name, then click on then type dot, then select your variable. So here, just remove this image and right navigate and then this item dot current screen, so this item dot screen. Now let's remove this and type this item dot menu item and now let's add just fill this there separator rectangle and now select this so here i am writing if so as i add another extra column inside this uh, menu item so what i am going to do i am just checking if this menu item or current screen is same then only i am going to display this rectangle so let's say this item dot that is screen sorry i have to remove this from here otherwise it will display it each and every place so let me i can add here as well but right now i am deleting this and let me Let me add another variable name. Turn the screen. And this would be the input type. Create. And type here. And now select the component select the current screen so here i'm typing f1 this this item dot menu with the item equal component
one dot current screen then only i am going to display otherwise it will be false so as you can see in the current screen the text is tab one so that's the reason it is showing this if i click and select this two so it is displaying here if i i tap three so it is displaying here okay so now our component library is ready so now let's publish this okay so this name is already exist so what we need to do go back to the screen click on setting and rename this to left nav so here we can change our app name go back to the company now publish again now let's see if it is published so it is published now now go back to the canvas app so this is the app which we created so now let's click on edit okay so this is our power app so to import this component library what we need to do we need to click on this plus icon from the left side and here we have an option get more components so once we click on this so we can see this is our component library name and this is the component so as i created a two component library if i go to the component library so this component library is published already so let's leave so here you can see in my environment i have a two component library left navigation and left nav so that's the reason i can see two component library left navigation and left nav so in the left nav i have created only one component and if i go and select left navigation so i have created a two component so that's the reason here we have a two component showing inside the left navigation but mine is a component one so let's select this and import this component library inside our app so now the component library is successfully imported now what we need to do we need to select this component one from this library component option so now let's click on this so once you click on this so i can see here we have a two input parameter which we created in the component library menu item and current screen so let me rename because right now my current screen is home so now let's see and enter here as a home and now so in my current ap application we have a three screen so now let's say home one and for home screen we have a home and this is screen one this is screen one this is screen two this is screen two now let's copy this now let me first add this component in every screen so now you can see here inside this component i have entered home and in the menu i have entered home it's the first record so that's the reason this is coming if i go and select another screen so what we need to do here 
we need to edit this table so i just copy that time and paste it here so here we don't have a tab three and this is the screen one so let's write and screen one here we have a screen two let's save and play so if i click on this so this is the home screen so that's the reason and this is screen one and this is screen two so now you can see we have successfully imported this component library inside our power app so let's suppose if you want to edit this because in the component library we allow the maker to customize this component library so you can edit this component and once you click on this edit component so it will allow you to create a copy inside your local so you can customize according to your requirement so here we have a uh, this component so next time what you need to do if you want to import this local component so you need to again click on this custom and then you need to select this component and one underscore four component which is you just copy now inside your canvas app thanks for watching please subscribe my channel bye bye